A newlywed couple stop at a posh French hotel on their way to England. They meet a beautiful and mysterious woman whom the hotel owner says had been there 40 years prior, even though she hadn't aged a day. The woman introduces herself as Countess Bathory, and people begin to wonder and die. My name is Scara and welcome to my Tub of Terror. Tonight we'll be discussing the movie from 1971, Daughters of Darkness. And we'll do so rather quickly because these bubbles won't last forever. <sighs> first things first, a word on lesbian vampires. The first movie that featured a lesbian vampire storyline, although it was subtle, came to us in 1936 by way of Dracula's Daughter. Now, in the 70s, there was no less than eight lesbian vampire movies, including Dracula's Daughter. So, what's the deal with lesbian vampires? I don't know. A vampire chooses its victim and feeds on the victim regardless of the victim's sex. You see, the things penetrate. There's a bite in the erogenous zones, the neck, the breast, the wrist, sometimes even the inner thigh. There's an exchange of fluids. I don't know, I guess the seductive nature in which a vampire lures its victim goes hand in hand with fluid sexuality. Daughters of Darkness is an English language, Belgium lesbian vampire horror movie directed by Harry Kumel. The topic of lesbianism and even bisexuality is presented in a minimalist way, although the erotic nature of the film is pervasive throughout. I mean, it starts off with a sex scene between a married couple on a train. Is it creepy when I do that? Let me just try to give it to you in a nutshell. So what had happened was, uh, this newly engaged, or no, sorry, newly married couple, they arrive at the hotel. Stefan is the dude, he's a good looking guy, although he's a little skinny, and he's English, and he's also a sadist. His wife, Valerie, is a Swedish broad, long blonde hair, very beautiful. And she is, you know, kind of concerned because she wants to go meet Stefan's mom. Well, he keeps lying to her to keep her at the hotel. For some reason, he doesn't want her meeting mama. You kind of find that one out later. I don't need to spoil it for you. Anyway, I digress. We're first introduced to the Countess as she pulls up to the hotel in her classic red car. She steps out and she's clad in all inky black. Her wet lips are cherry red. And she's accompanied by her much younger and voluptuous companion named Ilona. Now the Countess is played by Delphine Seyrig, who arguably could be the sexiest female vampire in horror movie history. Yes, I'm taking into consideration Selma Hayek's character from, from Dust Till Dawn, as well as Aaliyah's character from Queen of the Damned. Watch Daughters of Darkness and tell me if I'm lying. Let me give you a quick rundown on who the real Elizabeth Bathory was from Wikipedia. I'm gonna look at my phone, don't judge me. Now, Countess Elizabeth Bathory, who was also referred to as the Blood Countess or Countess Dracula, was a Hungarian noblewoman. Historians have called her the most prolific female serial killer in history. You know, when you hear about bathing in the blood of your victims and all that jazz, that's from Elizabeth Bathory. So let's see, she was basically a monster. She killed hundreds of young women. I'm talking about girls that were around 13 years old. Uh, her crimes took place between 1590 and 1610 and some say that she maybe killed up to 650 young women. This number comes with a little bit of, uh, is that right or is it fudged? I don't know. But what we do know is it was in the hundreds, her victim number. Now, here is the nitty gritty of Miss Elizabeth Countess Bathory. Um, she didn't just kill her victims, she tortured them. She bit them, she burned them, she used hot pokers on their faces, she froze them to death, starved them to death, all of that stuff. 
For what? Well, that kind of varies. Some people say she was using their blood to try to cure her epilepsy. Some people just say she was trying to use their blood, you know, to remain youthful. And other people just say she was batshit crazy. I'm going with that one. Back to the movie, though. I guess what I want to say about the movie is the mesmerizing way in which the Countess is a puppet master and gets all of the characters to do exactly what she wants. Um, she awakens Stefan's sadistic nature and he ends up delivering the belt weapon of a lifetime to his wife, Valerie. This sends Valerie into the open arms of the Countess, which is what she wanted all the time. Now, to make sure that the deal is sealed, the Countess gets her voluptuous assistant to seduce Stefan. He falls for it, and then there's a violent sex scene, lots of nudity, blood, and then death. The rest of the movie is basically the Countess helping Stefan and Valerie cover up Ilona's death, followed by Stefan's death, followed by a very big death scene at the near end of the movie. I don't want to tell you which character bites it in the end. I'd spoil it for you, silly. I really want you to watch this movie. Let me give you my final thoughts. Daughters of Darkness is a beautiful movie, stylish from the first frame to the last. You can't take your eyes off of it. And I really think that Ryan Murphy, the creator of American Horror Story, was heavily influenced by this movie, especially when he made American Horror Story Hotel. I mean, I'm pretty sure he just told Lady Gaga, go ahead and watch Daughters of Darkness and become the Countess Bathory, become Delphine Seyrig. And to her credit, Lady Gaga did. Now, final, final thought? The Daughters of Darkness movie, hmm, one can really sink their fangs into it, into the themes of female empowerment and discovering one's sexuality. Um, and it will forever be a creepy and beautiful vampire horror movie that awakens the macabre. Well, I better wrap things up. As you can see, I'm almost out of bubbles. Please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what horror movie from the 70s you want me to discuss next. Um, I gotta say, for an ancient witch, I don't look half bad. And people are always asking me what my beauty secrets are. Well, I'll tell you. I eat right. I stay hydrated and drink a lot of water. I maintain a good diet and exercise program. And uh, of course, I moisturize. I mean, Countess Balthory really was onto something if you ask me. But where she went wrong is you don't need a bathtub full of blood for it to work. You just need, you know, a little bit. Just get your proportions right. Get the ratio right. That'll do it. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me in my tub of terror. My name is Scara, and I'll see you in your screens. Oh, you're still here? Did you like the video yet? Well, go ahead and do that. And while you're at it, here are some more videos for you to watch. Oh my God, my whole tit's falling out.